how can we avoid the phoenix is there a specific place okay look i have i have got into this i've never seen your your moniker before know the secret i don't know i don't know who you are but i've i, I in many of my videos i explain especially in my later videos and in my lives I'm not going to I'm not going to waste a lot of time on that. You're worried about the Phoenix. You're worried about May 15th, May 16th, 2040. Yes, it's a harrowing event, but I'm telling you now, we live in a multiverse. If you're expecting the event and knowing at the same time that you will be protected from it, the simulacrum must obey that. It, it becomes an informed field. It cannot deny an informed field. It will not be made out to be a liar. If there's something that you fundamentally believe, then you will see it manifest in the, in the material universe if you act on it. And by, by acting on it, I mean actions and actions that are derivative of beliefs is called behavior. It's really simple. And that's a language that the simulacrum understands very well. It's behavior. Let me give you an example. There are some guys that listen to my YouTube channel that were in prison with me. They're mature, they're educated, they spent years reading and stuff, they're not very social, most ex-cons ex are not. Some of them are probably listening to my voice right now. They will know what I'm talking about. I am not, I am not sitting, gonna sit here and try to just tell you some war stories in prison, but I'm telling you now, there were times in prison where I absolutely refused that there was a single soul in that unit that could contend with me. And I walked through cell blocks like I was a god. And let me tell you something, men responded to it. There have been times where I have been challenged and I took down another man so fast that I didn't show any surprise. Which made the whole, the whole cell block back up like, damn. But when I got back to my cell, I was trembling like, what the hell happened? Such force of power, speed and stamina would overcome my body. And I would do things that I know for a fact I could never have done otherwise. Unless I was backed into that corner or put in that spot. You are no different than me. We are no different from that woman who turns around and screams when she sees a Volvo run over her three-year-old kid and his leg is pinned to the curb and he's screaming and she doesn't hesitate when she runs 16 feet back and lifts that Volvo and frees her boy. If you think that hasn't happened, you better Google it. It's happened many times. People it's not adrenaline. That's what science. That's what the acudummies are going to tell you. Oh, adrenaline, and she got strong. No, it's not. It's not. Nothing is really real. But because we exist within dungeon programming, we're made to believe everything is real. But under under moments of heightened stress, heightened heightened emotion the mathematics of our existence can be yielded. An informed field can be created so fast that if acted on, the very laws of physics that the simulacrum pretends that we exist within just melt away. And this has been demonstrated many times over. You can hold your breath for long periods of time without any, without any consequence. But it has to be the right situation and you have to be in the right frame of mind. You have to be calm. Those episodes in prison where I did heroic things that I just can't even believe in, in retrospect, I had a very, very calm mind. It's almost, it was, it's almost as if something else overtook me and made me go through the motions and when it was over and then I was left, I was just as in awe as everybody around me. I'm just really good at hiding it. So people were convinced when they saw my face after these episodes that this was something normal to me. So they stayed the hell away. It doesn't, it's episode, it's not just episodes of violence. It's also oratory. You think on a daily basis that I'm this vocal, that I'm, that I have some special skill at eloquence? On a daily basis, I'm a southern Texas, almost, some people think I'm a redneck, a hick. I don't exhibit this type of eloquence unless I'm conveying a point, unless I know I'm talking to a large amount of people. In my daily life, I have neighbors that don't even, they have, they don't even have a clue that I do a YouTube channel. Not a clue. 
When we, when we know what we want in life, that's not enough. The creation of an informed field is knowing what we want, feeling like we have it, and instantly acting upon that. It's because the actions are the follow-through, and those actions are the only thing that the simulacrum can interpret. It cannot interpret thought. It doesn't know what you're thinking. It cannot read your mind. What it can do is read your frequency ranges. It knows when you're feeling sad, happy, anger, rage. It may not know the particulars. It may not know it's attached to jealousy. It may, but it reads your cortisol levels. It reads your, like I told you, your dopamine, your cortisol level, your hormones. It, it reads those so it knows you're going through things. It understands your frequency and amplitude, but it doesn't know what the thoughts are behind it, but it can extrapolate based off what you're going through at the present time period or who you just spoke to. It can make many deductions, but it just can't know until you start acting. And when you start acting in a certain direction, it must build for you that reality tunnel. That's what it does. And that has a lot to do with who we are. We are co-creators. We are not just immortals trapped in the mire.